Hey guys, so today I have a fun skeleton craft for you to help get ready to decorate for Halloween. I'm just going to take a few simple supplies, things that you should or may already have around your home, and you can definitely make substitutions if you need to. So the main supply for this is going to be some Q-tips. I've also got some glue. I've got a black piece of paper, but you can use any color if you want to. I just wanted to use the black so that it would pop out for you. I've got some scissors. Um, you might need some help with these in case cutting the cotton swabs, that cardboard part is a little bit tough for you. I also have some white paint, which I'm going to use to paint my skull, but you can um, use white crayons or colored pencils, or you can cut out a face from somewhere that you see or a picture of yourself. I've seen that before too. Um, so you do have some options there. So I'm just going to show you this option and then you take it and run with it and make it your own. So what I did is I grabbed about 12 cotton swabs to make, um, I minus about a five and seven inches um, big rectangle. So not really that big, not as much bigger than my hand. Um, so about 12 cotton swabs is what worked out perfect for me. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cotton swabs and for my the ribs, for the legs and for the arms, I'm taking um, one and cutting it in half. So I've got three ribs on each side, so that's three cotton swabs, and I've got um, two arms, that's one cotton swab for each, and then I've got two legs, and that's one cotton swab for each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cotton swabs for your arms, your legs, and your ribs. And then I took um, probably two cotton swabs. I took one and cut it in half, and then maybe made it a little bit shorter to use for my feet. And then I took another one, there are ghosts in here. I took another one and um, cut some smaller pieces too to use for my fingers. So the lengths on those is totally up to you. If you want your skeleton to have long fingers, shorter fingers, um, longer feet, shorter feet, whatever you want to do. And then you just are going to arrange him in any way you want. So I'm making mine a happy dancing skeleton. So I kind of made him doing like a little jig as you can kind of see here. So the next step you're gonna do is just lay out your cotton swabs in the way that you want them. And then you're gonna take your glue and glue that down. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a couple of those just to show you. So I'm just gonna glue right along the edge here. And remember your glue will dry clear, so don't worry if you put a little too much on. And then I'm just gonna keep going until I get all of my pieces glued on. And then for my skull, I actually took a pencil and drew out a little skull. So if you think about a skull, most skulls are a little bit bigger on the top and narrower on the bottom. And then on skeletons, you see the big black eyes, the two little dots for the nose, and then you can do a mouth. You can add teeth or whatever it is that you want. I'm making mine smile. So I'm just gonna use um, my little paintbrush and my little bit of white paint that I have here. And I'm just gonna paint my skull not making it super duper fancy in any way and like i said you can use um if you're using the black paper you can use a white crayon you can use a white colored pencil um or you can cut out the shape of the skull on a white piece of paper and glue that on if you want to so you've got lots of options and let's see i'm gonna fill that in right there and then I'm going to do around here. The hardest part will be getting around those little dots I did for my nose. And then finish up the rest of my face to show my smile because this is a happy dancing skeleton. And there we go. So you can kind of see it a little bit from there. After I'm done gluing all my pieces, I'm gonna take a picture of it and I'll post it in the comments for you guys to see. So I hope you have fun with this project. Um, definitely can make some substitutions if you need to, depending on what you have at home. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you can post the pictures that you've done or send them to me through Messenger. Um, share them with me, I think it'd be lots of fun. And then you have something that's decorative to hang around your house. So have fun with this one, guys, and I'll see you next time.